Some people will watch your video every single day. I'm talking about every single day and they would not hit that like button. Yes. Hello, Hello you bot. Dang, bro. Please miss. Please miss. Please just miss. Then it makes me shoot. You know what? I, I, it's so hard to not get mad. Who hmm. is But then if I shoot that, I miss that. But he makes anything. You see what I'm saying now, bro? You see what I? I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, let me tell you, we don't care. First thing first, like, subscribe, comment, share. Do whatever you need to do, bro, you know what I'm saying? At least get somebody support. It takes one second out of your day to support. So just support. So today, I'm going to teach y'all how to make the, the best lockdown play shot build. You know what I'm saying? With long arms, that can dribble. So we're going to get to the, the my player builder. I'm going to teach y'all how to make this build. So look, position you want playing guard. People say shooting guard gives you more speed that is facts that is facts point guard no shooting guard does give you more speed but shooting guard do give you less ball handle so which one you gonna want you gonna want speed or ball handle automatic you want to go with a ball handle if you shoot shooting guard on this build you're going to have an 83 ball control then that's something that you do not want so you're gonna go left-handed of course jersey number it don't really matter so for this pie chart it's between two pie charts to make this build. It's either the orange and shooting, the no, the, the orange and green, or the um, or the red and, and green. You see the you see the playmaker. You're gonna have 70 seconds, you're not gonna be able to dribble speed boost anything. You can have badges, but you wanna dribble. So look, look at the playmaker. Most people make their build off of the, the red and shooting pie chart, something that you do not want to choose. So go back up to this pie chart. Now you're wondering, oh, why is the defense so low? Uh, how much defense I'm going to have? Oh, am I going to get a lockdown takeover? Yes, you, you are correct. You're going to have lockdown takeover, bro. So look, choose this build. You might seem like you might not have enough defense, but trust me, bro. When you get on that court, bro, and have all your badges maxed, you're going to be good, bro. You, you're going to be good. Get a block, steals, everything you need, bro. So choose this pie chart right here. You want the most, you want the the most speed. The most speed, you don't want the strength, vertical, none of that. Just choose the most speed. You're going to, your finishing is going to be there. Y'all going to see what I'm going to be talking about later on in the video. So choose the highest speed. For the finishing, people might understand, oh, Nari, why do you only got a little finishing? Why you only got a little finishing? Why you don't have close shot? You don't need close shot. You can make any close shot in the game, so you don't really need close shot. Now, for the finishing, it's 80, drive a layup, and drive a dunk at 64. That's what you want to have. And for the shooting, you don't need 17. See, look, for the shooting, people might think, oh, why you don't have 20, why you don't have 23, why you don't have 22. But you don't need over 17 shooting badges. You, I mean, it's cool if you can have 20, but if you want to have that defense there and your playmaking, you, then you might as well just choose 17 shooting and, you, and I'm gonna tell you why you don't need quick draw is not in the game no more So 17 shooting badges is really like 20 shooting badges. That's how it is this year last year was quick draw and it take up four points and If you had the Hall of Fame quick draw it took up four points this year 
E, 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 e. It don't matter, bro. You just quick draw. It's not in the game no more. Just, 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 it's not in the game. So all you have to do is choose 17 and shoot him. That is the way. You still gonna have all your Hall of Fame badges, no gold badges. And look, for the playmaker, people might think, oh, Nari, why do you choose so much playmaking? Because you need it. Simple. You need 23 playmaking. I mean, if you want to, you can go down to 20. Some people go down to 20, 21 and up there finishing but that takes up a lot so do not choose that that do not choose that some people do you can do it but you only have to have three finishing why would you sacrifice your playmaking with three finishing badges but yeah i'm gonna just go with 23 playmaking badges do not go with 24 you have 23 that is enough all right so for defense you're gonna put first you're gonna put perimeter defense on you're gonna put lateral quickness steel Defensive rebound. You might thinking, why do you need defensive rebound? Because defensive rebound, lateral quickness, and perimeter defensive steal, those give you the most badges. Though, and you're gonna be see what I'll be talking about on other builds. If you put interior defense on, you're not gonna get no type of badges. So make sure every time you make a build, put defensive rebound up and lateral quickness and perimeter defense. You're gonna get a lot of defensive badges, bro. Now look, you can put the rest of this. You can max these out. To 10 and you're gonna have all gold defensive badges and you'll be all be like Nari I thought it was a lockdown play shot build I supposed to have 19 Hall of Fame badges like I said earlier in the video that is the red and green pie chart you're not there's nothing that's not gonna good is not gonna come with that you know what I'm saying so please choose 10 defensive badges bro you're gonna be straight you have long arms you can dribble you can do everything but you can do everything this build can do everything trust me bro I want to lie to y'all now look we got all every attribute upgrade done. So we can press continue. I like slight. You don't need a build. It don't matter. It's up to you. Body type does not matter. But I like slight. I don't want to be too big, you know, like too much. But like I like slight though. Now height. I'll say like you don't want to go too low. Some people choose six one, six feet, but I like six four. 6-4, you got that advantage over everybody, so why not choose 6-4? It's easy, bro. So choose 6-4. You still got 85 ball control. You still get pro dribbles at 85 ball control. And your little bit finishing goes up, a little bit defensive goes up, so you're good, bro. So choose 6-4. You don't want to go too low. If you go too low, you're not going to be able to finish. So you have to choose 6-4 to get around people in the paint. Now for the weight, I'll say choose 200. Some people go 180, but you don't want to be too skinny, bro, because you're finishing. You don't face your finishing, but I just like 200. 200 is not bad. Like 215, if you want to, it's not bad. But I like 200 because it's, it's balanced. It's not too big, not too small. So I choose 200, and the wingspan, you go not longest wingspan. Do not go max wingspan because you see the playmaking goes down and the ball handle go down. So choose 83, 84. It's up to you. I like 83.2 though. I, yeah, 83.2. 83.2. That's the wingspan. You're supposed to use this wingspan. I don't think I was just talking too much, but choose 83.2. Look at the defense. The defense goes up by a good percentage. So choose 83.2. You still get 85 ball control. And you're going to be good. Wait, 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 wait. I think I just messed up. Hold on, let me go back, 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 let me go back. I did something wrong. Mid-range shot. I did something wrong. I knew I, I knew I was missing something, bro. But look, I'm going to get through this real quick. Yeah, but 83.2 ball control. No, 83.2 wingspan. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have everything. Nothing really goes down. Choose 83.2. That's the wave, bro. So go choose it, bro. All right, so look. For the takeover... You can not break angles with playmaker takeover. If you choose playmaker takeover, I'm going to come through that screen and smack you. Throw a power bomb through the takeover. I'm dead. Look me in my eye, bro. I'm playing it, though. But look, bro. Um, some people choose shot creating or lock. I like lockdown takeover because I have long arms. Why did I choose long arms in the first place? Because I want steals, blocks, heavy contests. Like, I'm going to choose lockdown. Sharp don't work this year, I'm telling you. But if, if you want to go between these, I would recommend 
lockdown takeover. But if you want to choose shot creator, that there's nothing wrong with that. If you have the defensive baggage, you can do that, bro. But I like lockdown takeover more because I'm a cheesy type of person and I like to be toxic with my build. So I'm going to choose lockdown takeover. So I'm going to test the build. I got shades of. Who is, who is Steve Francis? Similar to Steph Curry, John Wall, playmaking shot in the course. Test build. Tell you, this build can do everything you want, bro. If you want a build that can do everything, trust me, choose this build. Test it out at 99. Now, look, this is what I was saying. There's no play draw in the game. So you're not going to waste any type of badge. You still get Hall of Fame badges. So, volume shooter, this is my badge. You can choose whatever you want. This is my badge. I already got my build in Hawk and my carry right now, and, I, and I'm almost got all my badges. So I like Volume Shooter on Hall of Fame, Rainer Center, of course, Hall of Fame, Great Machine. I choose a go between Hall of Fame sometimes, and I choose, I think, what is it called? Dead Eye. Dead Eye and Difficult Shots, you don't need. You don't really need Difficult Shots this year on Hall of Fame. You do not need Difficult Shots on Hall of Fame this year. Do not really work, like especially like last year. But if you if you a shot creator, trust me, choose difficult shots on Hall of Fame. But but besides that, I like difficult shots on bronze, or I might choose Tyler Shooter because I'm gonna be tired and I'm gonna be dribbling a lot. I dribble a lot, so I'm gonna need Tyler Shooter. So and so you need this, bro. Sometimes you you can waste the badges on playmaker. It just depends on what you choose. So I choose a pluckable on silver sometimes, but you still gonna get rid. So I choose it on Hall of Fame, Quick First Step, Hall of Fame, of course, Hand Up For Days. Y'all know all these badges from last year, so just, you know, choose whatever you want. And I like my tight handles on Hall of Fame sometimes. Hall of Fame or Gold is between one of those. And what else am I missing? Floor General. I like my Floor General Hall of Fame. You need that for your extra boost for your teammates. Because what if your teammate can shoot in the corner consistent? He's going to need the Floor General and the Dimer. So make sure you choose those. Now for the defense. I'll say Pogos, I'll say Intimidator, you can choose between gold or silver, it depends on what you're doing. If you need to sacrifice that one badge point, then yes. But Pig Dodger, I like Interceptor on bronze. I, I choose it between bronze or silver sometimes. I don't need clamps. I'm not a clamps type of person. And it don't work for me, bro. I already got long arms, so what do I need clamps for? You know what I'm saying? I can already lock up. So what do I need clamps for? But I put Pogo stick on gold. I'm good. And then I'll choose for finishing. I'll choose between fancy footwork and pro touch or con contact finisher or consistent finisher. I like consistent finisher. It is cheesy. That badge is unstoppable. I'm glad 2K still didn't patch that yet. But I'm going to choose consistent finisher because I like the badge. Bro. Like The badge is good to me. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you make the, the best lockdown play shot build in NBA 2K20, bro. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment, bro. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. And I'm out.